I Love You, You Hate Me, the Barney documentary is dropping on October 12th on the Peacock app. There have been a lot of opinions going around about what this documentary could be, what it should be, what it's supposed to be, and we need to talk about that. Short disclaimer, if you hear rain dropping in the background, there's literally a hurricane hitting the United States, so hopefully it's not too loud, but just listen to my voice, because we need to talk about the documentary that's happening. But as we know, and as I just said, the I Love You, You Hate Me Barney documentary is dropping on October 12th on the Peacock streaming service. We've known about this documentary for a good while, but we just got a new trailer showing about a minute worth of what the documentary is supposed to be. I've seen a lot of opinions flying about the documentary, people saying that they're not going to watch it, people saying that it's it's going to be trash, it's going to be, it's not going to be positive, it's going to be negative, and it's not worth watching. I wanted to talk about this because there's a lot of expectations that are set a little bit too high when it comes to the documentary. First things first, the one thing that I'm seeing a lot is mainly from Barney fans themselves, like specifically Barney fans. I don't see anyone else doing this. A lot of people are really upset about this documentary saying that it's not going to be positive and it's not going to bring Barney in like in a good light or whatever. This is not what documentaries are supposed to be about. Documentaries are not supposed to be pieces that are praising a certain being, praising a certain program or, or product or whatever. A documentary is meant to tell a story. A documentary is meant to focus on a specific aspect of something and to get, again, to tell a story. This documentary is not going to be an episode of Barney and Friends. It's not going to be an episode of Barney and the Backyard Gang. It's not, go it, it, the purpose of this documentary is not to praise Barney, right? The purpose of this documentary from what we know is to talk about what Barney was and how it affected everyone involved. The cast, the crew, and just people around the world. Because as we know, Barney was hated for a long time and for a lot of different reasons. A lot of those reasons aren't entirely valid and it seems like that's what this documentary is going to go into a lot. No one is telling you to watch the documentary. I mean, it's on a streaming service, so you'd have to go in and, and log in and, and do all this kind of stuff. So no one is telling you to, to watch the documentary. I mean, us Barney fans, like I'm sure a lot of us are going to. But what I'm saying is to give it a chance. None of us have seen it. I've never seen it. It hasn't dropped yet. But at the very least, if you do end up watching it, you have to give it an open mind. This is what a documentary is. It's here to tell a story and we are, or rather we should, be open-minded enough to look into what's going on. Me personally, I am very, very heavily interested because Barney hasn't had a new thing in a long, long time. This is the first brand new thing that we're getting talking about the brand, the franchise and everything. And it's including a lot of the people that were involved in the show for the past 30 years. There's a lot of things that were going on behind the scenes that I want to know about personally. Like there's a lot of things that people have talked about here and there, but we we never really knew the the full workings and and goings on behind it until now. And like I said, Barney was hated for a long time by a lot of people, kids included. This documentary seems to be like a think piece on American culture, the need to hate something, the need to hate something that has been spreading love. That is an important thing and it's it's something that's very rooted in American culture and I'm very excited or not well not excited but I'm, I'm very interested to see how they're going to go into this and what they're going to be talking about with it because Barney is one of the biggest examples of it. One interesting thing I saw is that when this new minute long trailer dropped a lot of people especially on Twitter were going around and almost pretending like they didn't know that Barney was was bashed for as long as he was. I saw a lot of people saying things like how could you hate Barney? Who who was hating on Barney? I never knew Barney was hated. When, you know, I, I'm 23 this year, in especially like elementary school and going into middle school, you would go on the playground and everyone would be singing the I Hate You song. And I'm sure a lot of people remember it. You know, I hate you, you hate me, let's get together and kill Barney. Like everyone would sing that song. That was something that happened all the time. So going on online and seeing people talking about this trailer, first of all, I love that this trailer is getting a lot of media coverage because for a long time, we knew about this documentary, but no one was talking about it. It wasn't being marketed at all, and it just was very quietly talked about. But now that it's hitting like the, the major airways, a lot of people are being clued into Barney again, because Barney's been gone for so long. And again, it's just, it's really bizarre to see that a lot of people, again, it feels like they're pretending like they didn't know that anything was going on with Barney. At the same time, it, it's really comforting to know that 
a lot of people have that mindset now of why were people hating Barney? Because there was no real reason for why Barney was hated. Again, like that's why I'm so interested in this documentary because it seems to be talking about like why we feel the need to do that with something as genuine and innocent as Barney was. I don't remember if I explicitly said it, but I remember thinking, at least to myself, that I didn't want to talk any more about the documentary until it actually dropped because I had made a couple videos about it before and we didn't really have much to go off of. But now that we have this full minute trailer, a lot of people were saying they wanted to know my opinions on the trailer and the trailer is great. I'll say that right there. It, it's, it's a very nice, well-made, well put together trailer. It has a lot of different people that show on it. There's, there's a lot of different like important people that flashed up in this trailer. We saw Al Roker, we saw Bill Nye, but then we also saw like a lot of people that were on the like part of the Barney crew. You know, there's Bob West, there's David Joyner, there's uh, uh, Stephen White. We even saw Cheryl Leach. She wasn't one of the people that were interviewed for the trailer, but she she does show up in a few different clips. There's one clip of her. I believe on the set of Barney's Great Adventure because you can see Baby Bob in the background with her pink uh, tutu. But then there's also another clip of Cheryl Leach in there. So this trailer is really, really nice. I do have my concerns, but as, as a trailer for itself, for the most part, it's really well put together. I see a lot of people marketing this trailer around and, and talking about it and saying things like, this could be big. This could be the, the next big thing for Barney. This could bring Barney back. I don't know if that's true. If anything, this upcoming Barney movie that's supposedly happening would do more than this documentary because from what I've seen, Mattel has not touched any sort of advertising for this documentary and I do not blame them because I don't think this isn't a documentary for kids, right? This is not this documentary is not for their target audience, right? This seems to be mainly for the adults that grew up knowing about Barney. That's just supposed to be it. And and I'm sure people involved with the documentary know a lot more than we do when it comes to what Mattel might be planning with Barney for the future. But as fans and as just general people, we have no real reason to believe that this documentary is going to drop and then something from Mattel is going to come about Barney in like the next however long. Like we don't know that. I'm not really going to be like hyping over it. I'm just, you know, if anything happens, then that's cool. You know, if something happens Barney related that's brand new after this drops, then that's great, but like we don't really have too much of a reason to believe that this is going to start a train rolling for new Barney stuff, right? Another concern I had is something that we've been talking about a lot in like Barney Facebook groups, and it's the way that they're bringing in the Patrick Leach situation. Now, I don't really want to talk about that uh, too much here. From what I know, that situation is not really related to Barney at all, and it's more like a personal situation with Cheryl Leach's family and everything. From like plot synopsis of, or plot synopsis, it's a documentary. Uh, from different synopsis of like the different episodes that are, are coming out for it, it's a two-part documentary. Uh, it seems like they're very heavily going to be going into that situation. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. I If they go into it respectfully and I, I don't know, I don't remember, see the, the thing is, I don't know how well that ties into Barney itself. I don't know. I. I would feel more comfortable if they did not even touch on that. But at the same time, that is something that's going to bring viewers in. So I can understand why they did it. I don't entirely support that they're talking about it. But I, I mean, again, we're, we're just going to have to wait and see how the documentary plays out because it seems, from what it looks like, it seems like that's going to be a very big part if, of at least part two of the documentary. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, especially considering Cheryl Leach. We, we didn't see footage of her being interviewed for the documentary. We saw her in the documentary, but we didn't see, we just saw clips of her behind the scenes. We haven't seen like her being asked questions and all that kind of stuff. So if it, if that situation is in some way related to Barney, fine. But like, if it's not, that's a little, uh, I don't know. It's a little nasty to me, but again, uh, either way, uh, I'm still excited to, to learn more about what was going on with Barney behind the scenes and just how they're going to work in this whole idea of writing love and, and all that. So I think that this documentary should be pretty cool. Um, I think we should all just be looking forward to it. Again, going into it with an open mind and making sure that j just keeping that mindset, because again, like neither of us have seen it. So it's best to go in with an open mind and to, and to, to think clearly about uh, this kind of thing. So I hope you guys will be watching along with me. Again, it drops on October 12th on Peacock. I'm not being paid to say that, but uh, if they want me to, 
you know. <laughs> I do want to give shout outs to my friends uh, Andrew, Barney Builder, uh, Kaylin of T Refric Tributes, uh, the director Tommy, uh, Tom, blah, 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 the director Tommy Avalon, uh, everyone together. I'm very proud of everyone that uh, was able to work on this project and to to put it together. You guys, um, I can't wait to see the product that comes out. And again, I'm just really proud of my friends for uh, being part of this documentary. So that 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 is it i guess did you know that barney and friends had a backdoor pilot that was filmed just two years before it hit pbs and it was part of an entirely different series i talk about that in one of my most recent videos you can check it out right here barney goes to school that review is up right now so click on that link up there on the top i have been hedge and i will see you guys at the next stop thank you for boarding my rainbow line see you Gwen, Jackson, Emilia, Velveteen, Alicia, Cameron, Caroline, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Common J, Mango, Megley, Nerdy Disney, Sawyer. Thank you for joining my rainbow line.